What's up, my homies? I uh, just got back from uh, South Florida yesterday. Uh, we came straight from Boston, so I haven't been home in around like two weeks. Uh, massive trip for me. Massive trip. We went to Boston at the NCAA Championships, got second place. Uh, I don't have my trophy, but maybe I can put a picture up or something. Uh, really cool. I mean, been through a lot, and that's probably the best accolade of my career to this point. So really excited for that. And then we went straight from Boston to Tampa and got a new PR in the 100, 1009. Win legal too, so. Uh, this is that race right now. Um, I don't know. I have practiced in like an hour, so I think I'm going to record the video on the NCAA championships like later on tonight, but I think I have enough time to do this right now. Um, so we'll just get right into it. I'll show you the video first. Great start by Walker. Yeah, That's 60 meter speed. Walker in front of everybody. Look at the All-American soar. That's going to be a great time. 1099. 10.09. How about a 10.09 time for Walker? That was two for second. So those are all legal times. Those are phenomenal. Oh. I mean, Somebody show me in the comments. I can absolutely gorgeous to watch. I can adjust it with this, right? Oh, can I not? Oh, I thought I could adjust it with my arrow keys. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Heck yeah. Hey, I got all the best angles for you guys, man. I know what these analysis videos. Hey, I was thinking about it. I got all good angles. I love the stream that they had for this meet. Normally, they don't have streams for our spring break meet, but they did for this one. It was really good. Um. Yeah, so it was a good race, um, good opener. Um, my legs were a little tired. I did some 150s on uh, Tuesday and then blocks on Thursday. So I it's a little bit more than I'm used to. Um, I haven't really gone over 60 meters at all this year. So like, I guess it'll give you a little bit of like, insight into my training. I, I literally have not gone over 60 meters this entire year. Point being is like uh, I don't want to go on the bank. I've been injury ridden for the last two years. Like I have two surgeries, like three or four muscle tears. It's just been rough. And uh, so my thing is I I want to avoid the bank. I don't want to go on the bank. I want to reduce the injuries. I want to just stay on the straight as much as possible. And you know it's cold in Iowa. And like for my I had surgery in the summer, so I was recovering in the fall by the time I got back it was already cold so we're stuck inside I'm stuck on the straight I'm not going on the bank I just won't do it uh maybe I can maybe I, I don't know it's just something I, like in my head I want to prevent my injuries as much as I can so that's kind of one of those things I'm doing to prevent my injuries um so I haven't gone over 60 meters at all this year and I did that on Tuesday I think I would recover from it pretty well but uh, I definitely wasn't, you know, light on my feet. <laughs> it felt pretty heavy. But uh, it's hard to say that because I PR'd, but I just feel like I got a lot more than I, than this. Like I feel like this was just like a go-have-fun meet. Like, I literally haven't even gone home yet from Nationals. Literally, this jersey and these, like, this jersey's dirty right now. Like, I haven't washed that. <laughs> I, well, we didn't even wear that. Maybe it was clean. It was clean. Hey, I just lucked out, I guess. But um, good start. I already separated right here. Nothing against these guys. It's, these guys closed really well, and obviously I'm primed from the 60. So, um, pretty good start. A lot better than my start at nationals. I'll talk about that in my video for nationals. Um. It's the only video I really have at my start. Can I not? I swear, I s saw somebody in the comments say I could 
like oh here it is yeah go frame by frame I see your comments I see that comment yeah so my foot's down right here just like I was saying in the, my other videos like I want my foot down first I'm playing force these guys are in the air floating and I'm already applying force same thing with my second step my second steps down everybody else is in the air like you can't really see it because it's blurry but I'm applying force same thing here and now I'm just getting my knees out in front of me getting into my form Right here, you see my hips kind of tilt up. See, I'm still in like that, this position a little bit. And then I'm rising, rising, rising. And the last step to that is you just flip your hips up and get your knees up in front of you, right there. And now I'm chugging. And then here you can see kind of like what I was talking about, having gone over 60 meters. I wasn't even really like that tired, honestly, but I just had not done it. I don't think I was comfortable with it yet. But you can see I just start getting like, I don't know, like passive and bouncy. I stopped like attacking. Like, if you see my, <laughs> that kind of looks weird, running backwards, but see my, what is this, probably like 20 meters right here at this line. See this to, I don't know, like right here. It looks way different than my last 20. Look how hard I'm attacking. My walker. That's that 60 meter speed. Walker. Yeah. Like that is way different. In front of everybody. Right Look here. at the All-American sword. And I'm trying to think about how I can put it into words. I'm just, I don't know. I'm not running downhill anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of like reaching for the line. Well, not really reaching for the line, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm just cruising. I'm not attacking anymore. So like, I feel like there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of time I can shave off right here and I think this is how you should think about like your training too is like you see a problem like this so you like analyze your video you see a problem and you just got to figure out okay what am I going to do in practice to you know figure this out to fix this to make sure this doesn't happen again and in my head and me and coach were talking about this uh, we're going to start training for like a 200 or just getting some speed endurance in which if you don't know what speed endurance is just holding your speed longer or whatever um that's what the 150s were for last week and uh i'm probably gonna do something similar to that this week which is gonna be interesting because like i said earlier i don't want to get on the bank it's 40 degrees here right now so um it'll be interesting to see what we're gonna do with that maybe i'll have to get on the bank i don't really want to but um, I'll figure something out, but that's kind of like my thing. That's kind of like what I'm trying to focus on. Last year I did some fly hundreds. I like, I liked that a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be running the 200 this year quite a bit. I think oh, I was talking to coach about it and he gave me the impression that like these next couple of meets, I'm going to be pretty much focusing on the 200. I don't know if it's to like actually like get ready to run the 200 at like the big meets later on like big tens and nationals or if it's just like help my 100 either way i'm excited for it i've had goals for the 200 for like two or three years now i haven't had a chance to chase those goals because i just i never ran the 200 it's not because i don't want to i just haven't been healthy enough to train for it i just haven't been ready for it and i think i'm healthy enough right now to do it boy if i can get this last 40 down yeah it's gonna be fun to see what happens um i got another angle gosh darn it there we go let's see all right skip to the next video i want to see the front angle Okay, we can watch this angle. Here they come. 
Yeah. You can see, like, I'm st I was still separating until, like, right here. Once I got here, I stopped separating. They started closing on me because I just got up and down too much. You can really see it. You can see me bouncing so much. Gosh darn it. To back out and get back into it every time I want to go to the frame by frame. Oh, gosh darn it. I need to get another platform for this. As you can see. Like, I'm just too up tall now. See how this guy, like, next to me? Like, they're attacking still. You can kind of see, like, with our strides. Like, uh, I guess I'm doing a little bit. But, yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't want to be in that position right there. I feel like I'm leaned back. And I'm not going anywhere. I need to be chugging downhill still. I'm saying. One thing I've heard, and you guys can think about this too. It's like a little cue that I've heard. I've thought about it before when I'm running, but it's not something I like preach or anything. Like I'm, you know, ride or die for. Uh, what it is, like your first, your first like 30 meters or whatever your acceleration is. You got to think about like running uphill, like running up a hill, just driving up that hill. And then you gotta think like, uh, like you get on top of the hill and then there's a little, uh, I don't know if there's, I don't know if they said it was like a transition into like going downhill, but like, I know the start is going uphill and your top end speed is you're running downhill. Just getting long, covering ground. Yeah, you can just, it just looks like I just... Yeah, that's honestly frustrating to watch that. <laughs> I can't lie. It was looking so good, and then, oh, I just backed off. Yeah, so I'm going to work on that in practice this week. It's, let's see what it looks like from this angle. So good, 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 good. Then somewhere in here, I start bouncing. You can't really see it from that angle at all. Now you can just see like my shoulders like, bouncing. A little bit. I don't know. 10.09, you know, PR. Some things to clean up. I got practice in a little bit. I should probably get over there and do some warm ups before. Like, I like to do like uh, some heat pads, like on my adductors and like my hip flexors and like on my hamstrings like those injuries all it's those like muscles that are like super easy to like tweak and like hard to like it's hard to hit your adductors and your hip flexors and your warm-ups so like i don't know i like to do a little a little extra for it you know like maybe get some heat on it you know uh maybe some biofreeze or whatever but uh that's what I'll be working on today. Just, uh, I think we have sleds today, actually. So, I'll be excited for that. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I guess if I'm going to give a summary of the meet. Let's watch it again really quick before I give my summary. Or, like, final thoughts. Great start by Walker. Yeah, That's 60 meter speed. Walker in front of everybody. Look at the All-American soar. Another thing I just saw. <laughs> Sorry. If you guys are wanting to get out of here. Another one. <laughs> Sorry about this. I just I just saw this right now. Yeah, Look how, like, I don't know what you want to call it. Like, I'm re so relaxed. I'm like, just doo -doo 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 -doo. I try, like, I don't know. I don't know how to, like, put it into words. But it's like, I'm, doo -doo 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 -doo. like, you can kind of see, like, my shoulders, like, going to the side a little bit. And just, like, kind of getting into each, like, pump. I don't know how to like That's six to that words. Speed. You can kind of see that. Walker in front of everybody. Look, here. look, look how the like, all-American. It's like locked now. Now I'm like this, just trying to like. I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to do. But you can kind of see like how I was like locked up. Look at the all-American sword. 
It's like two different people right there. Like, at 60 meter speed. If I can do that the Walker. whole way. Oh my gosh, dude. I just, I was just getting into it like this, and then I just got to the end, and I'm just right here. I just, dang. Yeah, well, I just noticed that. That's another thing I can work on. I might write that down in my notes or whatever. Um, all right, I'm going to stop interrupting. Great start by Walker. Yeah, That's 60 meter speed. Walker in front of everybody. Look at the All American soar. That's going to be. What could have been, man. Gosh, that was a good race, too. Hey, I think I got way more in the tank, though. Let me tell you what. Like, first meet of the year, I just got loaded up with more training than I've had, longer training than I've ever had. Right after Nationals, where I ran two races. Actually, the day before I ran Nationals, I had another block day. So I really did blocks three days in a row and a high day on Tuesday, the week of Nationals, and then came back and then had this big week. Um, gives me a lot of confidence. I feel like I have a lot of room to grow still. And I feel like I'm nowhere near peaked. Like, I feel like people, like, will say, hey, college athletes, college athletes you got to peak for indoors, outdoors, and, like, the Olympic trials or whatever, or the U.S. championships in the summer. But I feel like I didn't even peak for indoors. Like, I feel like I have way more in the tank. I feel like I'm just getting it, you know, like, I'm still on the rise. And part of my reasoning for that is just, like, like I said, I had surgery in the summer. I took pretty much a lot of the fall off just to, like, recover. Not because I wanted to, because I had to, like, so, like, my tissue had to build back up. I had knee surgery, and they basically took out all the bad tissue. I had to let the tissue build back before I could even do anything. So, I was literally doing nothing pretty much until, like, October. So, I mean, indoors was... It was awesome, and it was the best season I've ever had. But, like, I'm still going up, man. I'm still going up. I feel like I have a lot more to give, and I feel like... This is nothing compared to where I'm going to be in a month. Like, I'm going to have some good training. I'm going to, you know, keep doing the things I've been doing to get healthy, to stay healthy. Uh, I have an exercise routine. Oh, yeah, I should do a video on the exercise routine. I think that would be really good for you guys. Um, keep hitting that a few times a week. Um, work on these things that I was just talking about in practice. Hopefully pop out that nine, man. Hopefully pop out that nine. Uh, I'm just trying to PR though. Every time I go out there, that's all I'm thinking about is PRing. Um, you know, I'll, I'll always find a way, man. I'll find a way to get better, find a way to improve, find a way to drop that time. That's what I do. So, um, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you maybe learned something. Didn't waste your time today. So, uh, I appreciate you for hanging out. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.